everyone this is opinion from cg artist academy and i'm back with a new blended tutorial this time okay so what we're going to create in this tutorial is this so as you can see this effect so I'll be telling you the basic things how I set up a simulation and after that I will give I will show you the uh, final shaders what I have applied in my final file and how I did render in the cycles okay so let's get started okay so here is my basic blender scene select these delete file imp import and import uh, basic things which I have exported like uh, my final bowl in which these fries will gonna drop okay next thing is import obj and uh, my fries falling container okay with it let's import again yeah here is my container from from this i'll be like fries will fall into the box okay so last thing is i need to import my fries Port and where are my fries these are my fries final fries okay so these here so all things are like imported let's control save and Tutorial. It's not test. It's now getting in the final stage. So save it. Okay. So these fries, it's already uh, in a single mesh. I need to separate them. Okay. So what I, for this, what I need to do is tab. Sorry. Tab to get in edit mode. Okay. Press A to select all. If it's not selected, A to select all. Make sure the faces are selected. Yeah. Now select P and separate by loose parts. So now my all fries are separated from each other. And again, what I need to do is sorry, what I need to do is select all these, right click. I need to change its pivot to the center of each and yeah, for each um, fries. Okay, the origin to geometry now every every fry has its own pivot on its center okay so let's create a new selection collection sorry okay fries okay fries okay f r i e s fries select all the fries and drag in to the fries collection okay this part is done control s select all these take it to the center okay and put it around here yep I wrote, rotate it something like this yes place over here So the basic placement is done okay so now next what i need to do is select my fry go to the physics and select my rigid body and in this case my mass should be around 0.3 okay and okay that's it that's it now select your the first thing which you have uh, apply the physics and shift select the last one so you, that way you can select all your fries and go to the object rigid body and copy from active this way you can apply the same physics to the other fries also so it's done now select your container same rigid body this time it will be passive we are not going to fall it down okay and in this shape we'll be using the mesh now select the bowl 
same rigid body it should be passive and hash control s to save and my timeline should be around 125 okay so okay save and let's see how the simulation comes now it's getting pretty cool so that's how i set up my simulation okay it's that easy in blender i must say yeah so if you want to do if you want to duplicate if you want more fries definitely you can duplicate and add more okay and that's it i did this way i set up my rigid body simulation this way it's very simple i hope it did it for you also guys it it will not take much time to to create this kind of simulation and you can more as much as you can okay so now uh now what i'm gonna do is i will so guys that's how i set up my simulation Physi uh, physical dynamics rigid body simulation now let me show you the final file which i have okay and it would be this one so for these fries i have created a principal shader in which i have applied the texture which i already have here like this and there is a bump in connected to it and obviously i used triple s shader mixed with my base color okay i used around 0.5 value of the subsurface that's why it's looking like a because when 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 you see the fries it has some translucent translucency to it okay and for the bowl i just use the basic material of principal shader and the base color of this yeah and i used an hdri which is which is applied in the world properties okay and to do that you need to add a environment texture in that you need to uh, use your uh, SDRI okay and uh, I used a light from the back to get the feeling of triple uh, S the translucent thing okay that's it I used it for it and then I rendered it in a cycles renderer obviously okay and I did some comp over there to get the final result and that's how I got this look so guys this is this was not the lighting and look development tutorial so I didn't tell you how to exactly how I set up all these things it was like a basic knowledge of uh, how to uh, simulate in a rigid bodies okay so I hope you find this tutorial helpful and I'm really glad you watched this tutorial please subscribe my channel and share with your friends also if you find some techniques useful for your for your thing comment below if you have any queries and we'll see you next time thank you so much guys